What's up my friends and my new friends, welcome back to a brand new video. Today in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, I'm going to be showing you how you can get Gogeta's clothes in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now you need to unlock Parallel Quest 57. If you don't have this unlocked, go ahead and progress through the story. The further you progress through the main storyline, you should be able to unlock this Parallel Quest automatically. So, with Parallel Quest 57, hell is a picture. You have to defeat Janamba and Majin Buu, successfully fuse Goku and Vegeta and defeat Janamba. And as you can see, you will get Gogeta's clothes in this parallel quest. So we're going to go ahead and start it with our custom character here. I'm going to be playing as my custom character and I'm going to walk you through the process and show you exactly how to get Gogeta's clothes. So we're going to go ahead and select our custom character, select another character, and we're going to go ahead and select Gogeta. Now, this is a little exploit here that I found to discover. If you choose Gogeta, Super Saiyan Gogeta to be on your team, I believe you will get an extra um, equip item of Gogeta's clothes. So what I initially did here is I powered up my character to the max. And once powering up to the max, I was able to transform into Super Saiyan 3. And what you want to do is you want to target... Um, Kid Buu first. So go ahead and transform into your Super Saiyan 3. Uh, we kind of already did that there, and then I don't know for some reason why I did that. But go ahead and take out Kid Buu first. He's going to be the easiest among the two. Now, you don't exactly... I don't, I don't think you need to take out Kid Buu first. It could probably be Janamba. But just in case, take out Kid Buu first, because this is how I got two items of clothing. So go ahead and take out Kid Buu. He's almost dead. Start just like doing a lot of basic attacks on him. Take him out. Save up your key for Janamba because this quest is going to get a little bit more difficult as we progress through it. So there's Janamba. Now you want to keep Janamba alive so Goku and Vegeta fuse together into Gogeta. So let's go ahead and just like pound him down. Do a couple strikes, basic attacks, and save up our ultimate attack. So as you can see... We're not doing a whole ton of damage to Janemba right now, so we kind of just have to like drift around and wait for Goku and Vegeta to fuse. So as you can see, him and Vegeta are actually like taking off right now, and they're about to come back fused as Super Saiyan Gogeta. So you can leave Janemba alone right now or do a bunch of attacks to him. So now as you can see, Gogeta came in. Now the reason why I say select Gogeta as your character it, um, as one of your AIs is because as you can see we got an equip right there for Gogeta spawning in so I think we're either going to get another equip right here for killing Janam but if not we should get another equip at the end of the parallel quest so we just killed Janamba right there. Make sure you do it like within like five minutes or three minutes. There's going to be two more uh, enemies spawning in right here. We've got Cell and we've got Frieza. What I do is I basically take out Frieza final form first. So go ahead and just do a bunch of strike attacks on him. Try not to get affected by his ultimate attack because it is somewhat deadly. And just try to spam some ultimate attacks on him if you can. So go ahead and power up your character, get your key back up to max so you can spam ultimate attacks. And the Mechian races, Saiyan races, just about any race will do for this parallel quest. So I'm just going to continue to talk a little bit and walk you guys through this process. Once you kill Frieza and once you kill Cell, okay, uh, Janamba's going to come back into the quest and you're going to have to kill him. So it's pretty easy, you know, it's not very hard. You know, you should probably have a lot into your boost attributes, or else it might be a little bit difficult. So there we go, we got Frieza dead. Now we're going to go ahead and attack Cell right here, and Janamba will be coming in shortly. So let Janamba spawn and take out Cell as quickly as possible. I think you should probably try to aim to do this within 5 minutes, just to get to the Janamba part. So... Be very, like, really good with your time. Make sure you watch the timer and do as many combos and basic attacks and ultimate attacks as you can. And if you transform when Janamba comes in, you release your transformation and you transform when he comes in, um, you'll get an additional um, points towards getting the ultimate finish. So here comes the new enemy. Here's the final enemy for the parallel quest. Once you kill him, you should either get one or two pieces of Gogeta's clothes. Now, I did this before making this video, and I actually got two pieces just for having Gogeta on my team. So I don't know if it's the same case every time, but it's proven to work, and I'm going to try to prove it again here. And it's actually really awesome that you can do this. You can put Gogeta on your team, and you can get more than one clothing item. 
Now, Janama has a lot of health. I don't know why he has a lot of health in this form. I don't even think I have this form unlocked yet in my uh, character roster. So what I strongly suggest, let your characters distract Janamba and just spam your ultimate attacks on him. That was the times for Kaioken Kamehameha right there. And this is my female sand build, uh, Smash With Me. A lot of you guys want me to make a uh, Super Sand build uh, video, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Uh, how to make my character and all like pretty shortly here uh, maybe within the next couple of days I'm hoping I've just got a lot going on outside of YouTube so I hope you guys can understand that and thank you guys so much for the support on these videos lately I really appreciate it you guys are absolutely the best people so amazing I love you guys so much we're almost done with the parallel quest with here I'm gonna try to do a couple more ultimate attacks on him and hopefully Hopefully Black Goku doesn't push him away like he just did there. Uh, actually, I think that was Gogeta. Or maybe it was both of them. I don't know. But if you stay back and you let your allies uh, do all the work, you know, you can use them as a diversion to use your ultimate attacks from a distance. It's always nice. But sometimes your ultimate attacks won't always hit. So it's kind of nice to get close. As you can see there, we just did so much damage to him. He's almost dead. So Gogeta's probably going to finish him off. Now maybe you might want Gogeta to finish him off just because if you do that, then you might be able to get another equip item. So I'm going to kind of like hover around here a bit and maybe, just maybe Gogeta will finish him off. But it'll probably be Black Goku. Who knows? We got two Gogetas. So let's see. He's almost got him dead. There goes. Ah, uh, oh crap. Okay, so Gogeta actually killed him right there. So you might want to try to get Gogeta to finish him off That's in the perfect. end. We got an A, but we see. got two Gogetas close. Now, I, the first time I tried this, I didn't have Gogeta on my team. I did it with um, online with some random person, and I ended up just getting one item of Gogeta's close. And then I played by myself, put Gogeta on my team, put Goku Black on my team, and I ended up getting two items just like this. So now I've got the boots, I got the pants, I already got the gloves, I just need the chest piece. So there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for taking the time and to watch this video. Greatly appreciate it. Please keep living life to the fullest every single day live positive and enjoy life if you guys have any video requests at all any just please post in the comments below and i'll try my best to fulfill on my end and make the video for you guys um also how do you get frieza's headgear i understand that frieza's outfit is like an outfit in this game and i pretty much already have it except i don't have like his headpiece or anything like that i don't know if there's like a headpiece and a tail included with the outfit but that would be pretty awesome if it is and if any of you guys know how to get it please let me know in the comment section below and um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Peace.